right after this long holiday weekend here on Tuesday morning. I'm getting ready to send this one off to the machine shop. Uh, this is a TA aluminum block. Um, it needs to be line homes. It needs to be cylinders honed. And eventually it will be decked after I do some mock-up. A couple things I want to point out about this block is the torque. You have 100, 55, 35, and 45. So you have four different torque values. And you have one, two, three different size fasteners, all illustrated by the bolts. Um, these are all nice and tight as they came in as received. And there's a lot of extra work to this block because this block is not a ran in season block. So there's a lot of things to check, uh, which equates to a lot of labor, which also equates to a lot of additional cost. Um, so to start with the basics, we're going to get the main bore to 2.6875 to 2.6880, and we're going to bore the cylinders to 4 inches. I believe these cylinders are 390. I'd have to measure them. Um, but we're going to go 4 inches because there's a lot of ring selection in the 4-inch bore. A um, couple other things to look at. It's a beautiful piece, very beautiful piece. It has all the threaded galley plugs throughout. It has multiple oil pressure taps. Um, it does take special cam bearings, which I don't have yet, special motor mounts. Um, these caps are going to be real fun to get in and out. Um, it is tight as received, so I'm not going to mess with it. I've measured the main bore, and the main bore is about three to four ten thousandths below minimum spec. So if we hone it and take a thousandth out of it, it probably will be perfect, and it should be a pretty easy hone. So now I'm going to grab the phone, and I'm going to show some things that are just to watch out for obviously this is a very stout block this is all very very nice i guess there's a screw in plug back there i'll have to inquire about that that takes a small block chevy seal looks like a block drain so here we come to the front cover and just to make sure there's been a lot of talk about this on the forums over the years and what I can see right now, everything looks okay. Until I pull it off. Pull that cover off. And there's something that stands out. Alright, Houston, we have a problem. There's our oil pressure. I mean, oil feed, so you have to open that up. Not a big deal, but pay attention. The cover doesn't care. It can suck oil from the bottom hole or the top hole. Either way, it'll work just fine. So we're going to be real suspicious and this is nice this is like of the ls variety so it will cool the back of the bearings 14 bolt or 20 bolt oil pan and you can see all the different fasteners so this one's ready to go to the block machine shop let me look get the torque plate and i'll show that right here's our torque plate which is a 4060 bore, so it's plenty big. It's loosely on there, but we're gonna obviously use all the bolt holes on here, 14 bolts. Um, the block will need to be decked. The sleeves are above the deck right now. Um, we're gonna deck those flat. I don't know how much is gonna come off. I don't know what the deck height's gonna be yet. Um, we're gonna put the heads on and mock it up and decide what the port alignment looks like and try and get it all in one fell swoop. So. Here we go. This is a new one going in the pipe.